In this video, I'm going to summarize the top five of Michael Saylor's 21 rules for Bitcoin that he shared in his 2024 Bitcoin Prague Conference keynote speech. Stay to the end. Each of Michael Saylor's five rules holds a powerful key to understanding Bitcoin's nature as well as the potential in its future. And trust me, the final rule will change how you think about Bitcoin and what we do on this channel. The video is brought to you by Caleb and Brown, the world-class Bitcoin brokerage who can help you get into the game to buy Bitcoin in a safe way. Caleb and Brown brings you personalized 24-7 brokerage services, guiding you through every step of your Bitcoin journey. Whether you're buying for the first time or expanding your portfolio, Caleb and Brown's dedicated brokers offer you unparalleled support and expertise. Enjoy peace of mind with their secure cold storage and unlimited access to your personalized broker. I am not a financial advisor, investment advisor, or tax advisor, and this article is for entertainment purposes only. With that out of the way, let's get started. Rule number five, everyone is against Bitcoin before they are for it. This is a rule that Michael Saylor believes applies to many fervent supporters of Bitcoin, including himself. He stated that, quote, in December 2013, I looked at Bitcoin and tweeted that Bitcoin's days were numbered, that it would go the way of online gambling. Big mistake. But why are many people initially skeptical or strongly against Bitcoin? This is rooted in the nature of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a radical idea. It goes against what we've been conditioned to believe is the only way that an economy, and money in particular, can be organized. As Michael Saylor puts it, Bitcoin is powered by chaos. He has stated, quote, when you take your money and put it in a bank and save it in a fiat currency, you're loaning it to a country. When you take your money and buy stock, you're loaning your money to a company's management team. When you take your money and buy a building, you're loaning it to the mayor of a city. When you take your money and buy a piece of art, you're loaning it to a culture. When you actually buy Bitcoin, you're loaning your money to the lords of entropy. You are loaning your money to the gods of chaos. What's the bet? The bet is that chaos will outperform cities, companies, countries, and cultures. Of course, we have always believed that money has to be planned and managed by a central authority that has to be trusted to do the right thing. Therefore, to grasp how chaos is better than order when it comes to managing the economy and money, one must throw away old models. As long as you examine it within the parameters of old frameworks, it's not going to make sense. Michael Saylor puts it like this, It is like people with chariots and bows and arrows and camels and elephants fighting in wars 3,000 years ago, and we show up with explosives and aircraft. They're trying to backtest their models and figure out how explosives and aircraft impact how they organize their elephants. All the models don't really make any sense anymore. If you understand Bitcoin, you realize you gotta throw all old models away. However, he also believes that Bitcoin insight is restricted to those with the need to know. Those who are most likely to seek to understand Bitcoin are those who do not benefit directly from the architecture of the traditional system. Those who benefit directly and immensely from the traditional financial system have the most difficulty in seeing the potential of Bitcoin. Michael Saylor states, quote, Charlie Munger doesn't understand it, Warren Buffett doesn't understand it, and the bankers don't. They don't need to know why they can't see it. When you're comfortable and you live in the Western world and everything looks just fine to you and your cousin works at the bank, you don't have a need to know. In a nutshell, once you throw away the old models and take the time to study the Bitcoin technology, the genius of its design emerges. And unless you benefit directly from the technology it seeks to replace, you will definitely fall in love with it. Rule number four, Bitcoin is the only game in the casino that we can all win. With this rule, Michael Saylor reminds us that if we are patient enough, we will never lose by putting our value in Bitcoin, and that is because it is a deflationary asset whose demand is growing with time. He explains that Bitcoin is the best viable alternative available to you as an investor and a participant in the economy. He explains that it is Bitcoin's nature of preserving value that informed the decision by MicroStrategy to hold it. He states, We didn't invest in Bitcoin because we wanted to take a risk. We invested in it out of disgust with the world that forces us to take risks with everything else, and where the risks are stacked against us and undisclosed. According to Michael Saylor, Bitcoin is the casino where anyone who wants to play can keep winning. He states that the only way to lose in this casino is if you don't play or you quit too soon. And that is precisely why he advises against selling your Bitcoin. Selling is the second sure way to lose in the game of Bitcoin. Michael Saylor states, 
Every time you sold your Bitcoin, you gave up the best performing asset in the world. The entire world is constructed to convince you to sell your Bitcoin. Everybody wants you to trade your Bitcoin for their hedge fund, for their stock, for their idea, for their whatever. You just have to remember that no one is getting rich by telling you not to give them your money. Rule number three, tickets to escape the matrix are priced in Bitcoin. This rule has the backdrop of the society being designed to function on an economic model that benefits a few at the top while taking everything away from the rest with little regard. Meanwhile, until the arrival of Bitcoin in 2009, there was hardly any way anyone could escape this matrix. Michael Saylor thinks that Bitcoin is a rare opportunity to claim freedom from the matrix. He states, quote, Until you understand that you need to buy your way out of the matrix with Bitcoin, you don't understand the matrix, and you don't understand Bitcoin. But he also warns that Bitcoin won't protect you if you don't wear it as a full body armor. He says that the level of protection you get from the Bitcoin armor depends on how much of your total value you have saved in it. He also says that you must fully control whatever value you put in Bitcoin. He states, quote, buy the Bitcoin, control the Bitcoin. That is because if you let others control your interaction with the crypto, then you can't use it to escape the matrix. Rule number two, Bitcoin is the one thing in the universe that you can truly own. With this rule, Michael Saylor brings to our attention that our ownership of other assets, such as stocks and real estate, must be countersigned and guaranteed by a centralized authority. The same does not apply to our ownership of Bitcoin. He states, quote, Everything else you have in your life, you own at the pleasure of someone more powerful than you. It could be the mayor, the governor, the nation state, or the corporation. You think you own it until it's taken away. However, nobody on earth can take Bitcoin away from you. It's the first thing in human history you can truly own. That redefines the principle of property. He says that those who understand Bitcoin, and in particular the fact that its ownership does not need to be guaranteed or countersigned by a third party, buy it. Meanwhile, those who don't understand this nature of Bitcoin will continue to criticize it. He states, quote, As long as you're talking about it, it is not clear you understand it. At the point that things click for you, you're not just going to talk about it. You're not going to criticize it. You're going to run, not walk, to the nearest place where you can buy Bitcoin. Rule number one, you will never be done learning about Bitcoin. Michael Saylor reminds us that Bitcoin is not only a complex ecosystem, but also one that is rapidly evolving, both in technical terms and in adoption and application. That means if you think you know everything there is to know about Bitcoin, then most likely you know very little about the technology behind it. He says, quote, people that really embrace Bitcoin realize that you will never be done learning about Bitcoin. Bitcoin isn't just the protocol, it's not just the software, it's not just how you interact with it or how everyone else that uses it interacts with it. He also reminds us that, quote, Bitcoin is a swarm of cyber hornets. It's a thundering herd of 8 billion people. It's going on far beyond your lifetime, and it's bigger, stronger, more powerful, and more intelligent than you are. At Bitcoin Basics, we understand that learning about Bitcoin is a never-ending journey. Consequently, we are always busy researching and sharing new knowledge with you. Which of Michael Saylor's five rules of Bitcoin stood out the most for you? I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next Bitcoin Basics video.